Today I have an assignment to complete. This whole entire week my classes will be done online because it is the Deepawali holidays. One of my assignments is to rebrand a makeup brand. The first step is to rebrand the logo and change the logo name. We have already decided on the logo name, just not done with the designing part. Final logo choices are up to the lecturer. So each of the group members have to produce two logos or more than two logos and we can all finalize our sketches and let our lecturer decide um, which one is the one that we have to proceed with. So here I have my Adobe Illustrator opened up. This is the color palette I was going for. We are rebranding it to Chu. I was inspired by the sponsorship that I did in my last video, which is a clothing brand, but it's called Chu Mate. So I think Chu is kind of cute for like a makeup brand and we are definitely not copying. It's just that this is not a real project. It is only for practice purposes and assignment purposes, but this is my mood board and I was thinking of going for an icon. I'm not sure which um, animal do I want to use or do I just want to play around with vectors. But yeah, these are some inspirations that I have, sparkles and heart. This is the brand that we have to rebrand, it's Amina Cosmetics and not gonna lie, I am not the biggest fan of their packaging so that is why we need to do a rebranding exercise. But I do think I have to sketch out using Procreate or just do it on a paper first and then I'm going to take a photo, layer it on Adobe Illustrator and then proceed to my sketches because I still have no idea of the icons I want to use because I'm still quite not sure with what type of style or what type of specific vibe that I have to give and I'm also quite afraid that I'm not able to achieve what I expected so that is a struggle of a design student. This is the first initial sketch. For the skirt, I think I'm going to do a pattern like this. This is draft number two, but I'm still feeling this one. This one looks more preppier, 
like those Betty Boop aesthetic type of eyes. It gives more like a vintage vibe, but this one gives more so Korean type of minimalist drawings. But I don't know, man. Maybe I would just do both and see what it looks like in the end. One thing I hear a lot of people asking is whether they should get a laptop or tablet for design school. And although a tablet comes in very handy and it is in fact the only device I bring to school sometimes, but the laptop is the device where you can get all design work done regardless. For example, I can do lots of motion graphics, designing, and videos on my laptop and not have limited access. The tablet comes in as an extra device to help out and it is more beneficial to get a laptop first and work your way from there. Again, my iPad does support Adobe apps but it doesn't provide all tool access like the laptop. So that's my answer. Good morning, so uh, today I want to get my hair done. I want to, uh, what do you call this, um, recolor, re-dye my highlights into another color. And then later on today, I'll be going to my friend's house because we're having online classes and she thought that it would be fun to have all of us together and have the online class together. So I'm gonna visit her place later and I'm not sure if, if I could get my hair done before my online class, that means I can go there with nice and fresh hair. Okay, conclusion of having a big room. Conclusion of having a big room is okay, no one good. I mean like <laughs> not like <laughs> No the point is having a yes, big yes. bed, you know. Like, Vegas change is needles fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are ten to the pen? Today we are trying out a new pair of contacts from iMuse as well. These are in the shade Moonchild Lilac. I want to try them because my hair kind of fits. It's blue and this is purple so we can try it out. This is how the contacts look. It's very subtle. It's not too obvious. But it's still pretty. And it looks so natural from far away but I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I'm going to an event where it's a collaboration between Juice Coffee and Hype Malaysia. And I'm nervous. I'm pretty scared that I'm going to fuck up my um, my experience there, or maybe just become a very awkward person. But let's see how I'm gonna do. So my makeup is done, and I wanna put on a blazer. I got a blazer from Could I KL the other day, so I'm gonna wear it. So here's today's outfit. I'm wearing with a skirt. So my top is from Lovito, and then I stole the tie from my sister. Skirt I got it from Taobao, and then this blazer from Could I KL, the thrift store in Could I KL. <music>
stopped at this place for a quick lunch before we head back to the event. It was pretty awkward to say the least, but yeah. I'm going to have a consultation on my logo design which I did um, two days ago and I'm going to consult with my lecturer right now. right now because I don't want to do it last minute. I didn't know that my quiz uh, comes with a 30 34 minute lecture so I have to listen to the lecture but I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to it sped up and let's hope that my quiz goes well. on Adobe Illustrator because it's vectorized and it's cleaner. Today, uh, I have a school activity to join. It is sort of like a party. My friend Abby is going to be performing at school for the first time. She's going to be dancing K-pop and I just want to go there and support her as a friend. My boyfriend is coming along as well. Here's the makeup for today. The theme is dreamy and magical so I did some pearl rhinestones on top here and then did a ribbon and then my outfit. This is the same outfit that I wore to Malacca but I just thought um, why not just do wear it because nobody else has seen this outfit. I also got some chocolate for Debbie because I felt that Debbie has wanted to do this for a very long time but there was no platform for her to begin with and now that she has a chance to, I'm very proud of her and also just very happy that she gets to do what she likes and I know she's gonna do well. She's very good in dancing by the way. Debbie, Jaya, Debbie. Do you have anything you want to talk about? I want to talk about it. You want to talk about it? Okay.
thinking if I want to paint my nails in the same color as my dress or should I go for pure black. I don't have the same exact green so I'm just gonna mix it up with these nail polishes that I have here. Ignore the mess on the side but I did like a um, green, it's kind of black but green at the same time. It's a green with a black undertone because I layered black underneath but I hope it looks good. Today we are going to go to prom and I want to do my makeup. I already have my foundation base but I want to retouch because this morning I just went for a job interview. We're gonna do a green smoky eye because my dress is green. But yeah, I'm going to prom with my boyfriend. He's just here chilling because he has his outfit planned out already but I'm just gonna get my makeup done. I have never been to prom so I have no idea what to expect and I hope I don't overdress. I don't think I am. I think it's quite decent and our theme is enchanted. That is why I got a green dress. Initially I got a blue dress but it couldn't arrive by time so I have to cancel the order. The lighting is very shitty but I can't do anything about it. It's about to rain and it's 4 p.m. so so I'm just layering the foundation over my previous makeup base. I feel like um, Westerners, they have made prom look like something so magical or like, you know, mystical. Never got to experience it and this is the first time so I just thought why not buy the tickets and go because i um, kind of scared that they're gonna do it one time only. We never know so Anyways, this is the beauty sponges I've used. It's called Momo's Workshop and they work amazing. You just dab it on and they blend any liquid foundation so smoothly. I'm also retouching my brows. This is the makeup situation for now. I'm gonna be wearing these blue contacts for the first time. Here's the finished look. Here's my makeup, and I went for these accessories. 